daily picture taken happening Messi has no interest in content today zero interest Topper has no shame but I won't tell you guys why he's most so shame yeah and they have it and it's hot you guys look so fine god I beg god I beg ah god I beg <laughs> So we came back here because the snacks banged. I was back for some more snacks on our way to today's adventure. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Mosun. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for um, stopping by. If it's not, welcome back. Uh, so this is part two of my Kigali girls trip vlog. If you haven't seen part one, now is a good time to watch that. Um, if you have, let's get right into it. So it's day four and we're heading to somewhere called Fazenda Senga. So it's an outdoor, it's like a foresty place. There's like outdoor activities and I have Tuck right next to me. She's pretending like she can't see. She's here. Yeah. <laughs> Mercy is driving, Andrew is in front, and yeah. Andrew's Google mapping. Yeah, Andrew's Google <laughs> mapping, and um, yeah, we're almost there now, and I'll take you guys um, with us to see what we get up to. Please like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications for more content like this. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Hi Mercy, hi Angie. Higher, higher. <laughs> higher, higher. So we're almost at Fazenda Zenga. Oh, I will write the name. I don't know the name. I go right time. We're almost there, Sha. And the day the drinking has begun. But this drink is really shitty, Sha. I don't like it, but I bought it, so I cannot waste money like that. Okay, we finally arrived. Also has mine though. I don't understand. Said, How would we come here and not come and do this? You said their road. No, no, no. Oh, okay. You said their road is bad. Your Lagos road better pass. Go down there. Lekki Ekpe road now like this it is now. Go down there. We have the best stuff. <laughs> I saw something yeah. like this on Twitter. We have So Angie was here, Olayre with a heart, restless, and of course Muslim of Lagos because why not? Yeah. Best. Yes, Lefu. Angie getting stressed.
Have you I have started and I'm nervous for you. As a, are you ready as kids? A, ah, wake up, oh. Yo. Jimasu. Mm. Jimasu. Jimasu. Yeah. So I just go? Yeah. Go. So I go. Just go. You just go. Just so I go? Yeah. How does it for what am I scared? Guys, guys, guys. So we just did the first two lines and that was a lot of adrenaline. We're about to do the longest line now, the third line. And I also tried to go with my phone so I film it. So yeah. So my eyebox got a bit. So my phone made it, I made it, and we're going to the third one now. I'm sure you guys. So that's the third line and it is like it's longer and the ground is a lot further down. So yeah. You ready B? I don't All know. I need in this world of sin. Can you show them the floor? The ground. Yep. Got a big. Do it, do yeah. it, do it. She really released her hand. Hmm. So I just finished the three lines. I want to tell you my heart is racing. But it was good. It was a good rush. Um, now on to the next activity. We're doing archery next. <sighs> archery spots now. Never done archery before. So this is an entirely new experience. <sighs> I'm breathing so hard. Yeah, this is my second time zip lining. But this was a lot more fun than when I did it. I did it in 2019 in Nairobi. No, sorry, in Kenya. It wasn't Nairobi. But yeah, this was more fun. That's all right. So we're waiting our turn. One more round. Okay. We're waiting our turn now. We're getting strapped. No, it, it won't really touch it. Getting strapped. So. Not bad, not bad. I got four in total. Good. Out of 15. Got a bag. Heading to the last agenda for the morning. Oh, it's already afternoon to be honest. Heading to the last thing we're doing here. We only got three things. Hi guys, so we're back um, to the apartment now. We're back from Fazenda Senga, I believe. It was a lot of fun. It was like a lot of physical activities, but the I think the most um, exhausting of it all was the zipline. Not really the zipline, but we had to walk up a hill each time. And we did like three different lines um, two times. But it was a lot of fun. Um, it was, it's my second time ziplining, but I feel like I've said this before. 
Anyways, it was fun, sure. Actually, I'm a horrible. Um, my hand and eye coordination is horrible, but I'm not surprised. I, I didn't think I would do well. I only got like four hours out of fifteen. Yeah, but it wasn't bad. I would definitely try it again. It was my first time doing archery. Also, it was my first time caught biking, and I feel like I can drive a car now. Oh, I, I don't drive. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that on this channel. I don't drive because I don't know how. I'm not proud about it, but I feel like after quad biking, it was it wasn't hard at all. I could drive, so I said I took driving lessons sometime. I started driving lessons, but I never finished them. But it reminded me of when I used to do those lessons. Yeah, well, it was fun. But coming back down the hill was scary because it was going really fast and the brake was not breaking. But I had a guide. We had like guys with us um, behind, but they let us like do the actual driving already. Anyways, it was fun. So we had some notes planned for today, but we had to cancel because the guy was being annoying. He wasn't picking up his phone, um, but we've kind of moved that to tomorrow. And yeah, right now we're just back home. And we're just going to chill because tonight is going to be a long night. We're going to be out all night. We've been hearing about some club that we need to check out um, and apparently it pops on Fridays. So we're going, we're also going to meet up with some people. Um, our friends, friend, that lives here in Kigali. Um, yeah, I'll be hanging out with them, so that should be fun. Um, yeah, more Nigerians, but that should be fun. Anyways, yeah, right now, we're just back home, we're going to chill. Um, we're going for dinner first, actually, before the club. We're going for dinner, really, really nice, fancy dinner. So I'll take you guys with me, with us. See you guys. I'm tired, I feel like I have to rest. Uh, I, was, I think I'll sleep for a bit. It's just about 2 p.m. And dinner reservations are for 6. We made that for 6 p.m. So we have a good amount of time. I think I also tried to do some makeup. So I was like, it's like 5. Maybe shower, do some makeup and get dressed. So see you guys when I see you guys. Bye. So we're at the dinner spot. It's called Anda, and it's like a like a private what? Yeah. Private, dining private dining experience, basically. So they, open based on so they open only based on reservations, and yeah, we're here. So this is our menu, seven course dinner menu. Yeah. Mm -mm. Gay -gay. That's so cute. I know. That looks lush. So this is first course, yeah? Thank you.
Bro, it was too good. The sauce was awesome. Cost number three. Ooh, risotto. Looks nice. And someone that looks nice, nice, nice. Risotto and someone. You look excited. Yes. <laughs> No, I haven't, but maybe after the meal we could just do like one thing. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, cool. You were saying? I'm really stuffed, to be honest. My fitness goals in the bird. But like, the portions are small, but. We have like normally, that's what we're supposed to do. Four? Four five. Five. That's possible. Five. Okay. Five. And like, mm. each one is actually really, really good. Lagos chefs, are you here? So fucking good. Are you here? <laughs> I'm happy. Happy. Thank you. Hi. Very nice to meet oh, you. Bye. Fine. Thank you. Our final uh, dish is here. And this is the dessert. Thank you. See, we're so soft, stuffed. We thought we were not going to be full at first because of the portion sizes. But, bro. That was such a good dinner. Uh, see, Messi giving us back. Even talk about giving us small back. Uh -huh. Small back, they shake. <laughs> ah, that was so good. location number three for the night and it's called envy everybody and their grandfather has said we must check envy on a friday so apparently there's an envy in kigali so yay Saturday, it's about 10 30. Um, oh, sorry, 11 a.m. It's the last full day we have here in Kigali. Um, even though I'm a bit sad that the trip is coming to an end, I'm also, I think, I'm, I'm good. I feel like I've done enough things to make me happy and satisfied about this trip. So, yeah, no regrets whatsoever. Um, today, I have a couple of things to do. Uh, first off, we're going to somewhere called Sunday Park. Here is really pretty. Um, but I just hope there is no gate fee because I don't have money again. Like I'm done. Um, but yeah, last night, last night was it was okay in comparison to night outs in Lagos. 
it wasn't great but it wasn't bad the music was good it's like mostly nigerian music and then foreign music so i don't know what Rwanda music sounds like because we've not been hearing any of that but yeah we went to some place called Repub riders lounge so Repub was food riders lounge that was on our list to go to apparently it's good on fridays so it was packed like it was actually full um the inside full outside full also interesting thing friday night people don't really dress up in in kigaliu so we obviously seemed like outsiders but not in a bad way so it's whatever people were just very basic like sweaters jeans but hey who cares um then we went from there to somewhere called envy i think i I think I showed all of this, but just yeah, went to somewhere called Envy, and that's also somewhere that's meant to be good on Fridays. But we got there at about maybe 11 30. Um, someone had told us that it gets late around 2 a.m., but to be honest, around 1 we we're done. Yeah, when my friend said we should go home, I'm like, okay, even me, I was done. I don't know, the music was okay, but the vibe was just not giving at all. Came back home, showered, and went to bed. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah. We might try again um, for nightlife today um, for our first night. Also, our flight got moved from morning. So it's not a bad thing in that, okay, we get to sleep in a bit because we would have gone to the airport like 5 a.m. We get to sleep in a bit more, but still, it means we get to Lagos later and then there's work, work regimes on Monday and it's just going to be like stressful to um, try to like settle back in. But I'm not gonna think about that. Flight will move from morning to afternoon um, tomorrow. So um, yeah, that's basically what it is. I'm just outside now trying to get some pictures. We're going to I think three or four places today. I'll show you guys. Yeah, as we go along. But anyways, um, I hope you've been enjoying the vlog so far. Um, I'm gonna try my best not to make. I think I split them up into two. And if you know what the first one, please go watch it. I'll leave a link somewhere on the screen um but yeah i hope you've been enjoying it so far um if you have any questions about this trip please ask um i think i intend on doing one more video just talking through any questions anyone might have so yeah please like share comment um turn on your notifications for more content like this um hopefully i get to travel sometime soon again but you guys will know per usual man this hair has been tangling it's been doing the most I've got to get um leave-in conditioner before leaving Lagos and I checked the store here they didn't have most of the hair products were not in English so even when I used Google Translate it wasn't looking like anything um I knew. But yeah anyways that's about it. Let me stop making noise and take him let me go back to taking my pictures and yeah. So, of course, the picture taken, per usual, daily, ritual, and yes, we're color coordinated once again. Somehow we've outfit coordinated. Minus me. No, we're not sure. Okay. It's, 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 it's every time we're going that way. This so once we get to that traffic mm -hmm. light, uh, and then it doesn't color traffic light. It was there. Coordinated. Uh, yes, you Yellow. Turn. Turn here. Also yellow on the aisles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you.
so we're at another um market yes this is called Kap kaplaki the first one had just basket stuff and we wanted like more options so this is a bigger market and they have a variety of things there's also a supermarket down here probably come here to buy something to munch on because food is not until later so yeah it's a really nice space nice compound they have like a restaurant thing here too and bar parking nice views of the city really pretty Hey guys so we just we left the market bought a few things i'll show you guys um right now top and i are on a tattoo date yeah Hi hey guys, so we got back from the tattoo place. Um, I think I was able to show my tattoo properly. That was tattoo number five. Anyways, so this particular one I got when I traveled some years ago. And my plan then was to get a new tattoo in every new country. And then COVID happened, so this is the first new tattoo I'm getting outside of Nigeria. So yeah, I just had to. I don't know if you can see it. But it's still healing, it will take a few, couple of weeks to heal properly. But anyways, right now, I hope you can hear me over the noise of the, of the streets. Right now, um, so it's our last night in Kigali. And um, it's more of like a do your own thing type of night. And sorry, hold on. This, the bikes here, there. So the, the bikes are like their main means of transportation. So yeah, they're everywhere. So anyways, um, it's a do your own thing type of night. Yeah, so I was saying it's a do your own thing type of night and Tokwe and I are doing So I feel like we have similar travel needs One of which is food Trying out food in different places and we're going somewhere for dinner Now we've not eaten today because the tattoo markets, everything just took our day Took up our entire day basically But anyways, um, yeah, so now we're about to We're waiting for a taxi we had called the taxi oh yeah we returned the car that we rented tonight so we're careless once again but yeah we just need just the taxi to go out and come back tonight so we're good um yeah 
So I'll take you with us. Um, apparently the food at this place is meant to be really, really good too. So it's the best way to end our trip. And we're also most likely maybe going somewhere for drinks. I'll let you know. Depends on how much we have left. Because at this point, yeah, money. Yeah, we've done enough. We have done enough. But anyways, I hope you guys can see me because... Okay, yeah, bye. So, um, guys, say hi to Theo. He has been um, basically taking care of us and assisting us um, at this place that we stayed. I will link the Airbnb below. So, if you guys are coming to Kigali, I feel like you should stay here. It's like really good. I showed you guys what it looks like. This is Theo. Say hi, Theo. Hi, hi. My name is Theo, as they told. <laughs> so, I really hear your songs. It's very, very trendy again in my country. So, he yeah. loves Ni Nigerian music and he's yeah, talking yeah. about it right now. Yeah, so one day. <laughs> Will it become here in the country? So this is where we're having dinner. It's a um there's a hotel there's a there are like two restaurants in here and yeah heading in now apparently it's a really nice spot so we'll find out shortly we don't like an art Mm-hmm. I'm liking it already. Definitely fancy. Thank you. So it's up there? Oh, okay, nice. Oh, this is really nice. It's definitely nicer. Also, it's one that has a pool side. Hello. Hi. I think we'll do pool side now. So we should sit by the pool. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll call you. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Can I? Oh, really nice. Help. Thank you. Does it smash? Thank you. Okay. So we got um, a complimentary starter, a vegetable soup. It's quite nice. And this is the actual starter we ordered. It's um, goat coftas. Yeah. So we're sharing this starter because how much can we really eat? Thank you. Ah, oh, this is nice. So this is chicken, a chicken meal, and this is pork belly. Thank you. Yeah, but it's it's, it's a lot of flavors. Mm -hmm. Like I love it. I don't eat pepper. I, I think it's it. like it's why I like their food. It's like a mix of different flavors. Like there's a lot going on, but it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Half a month, half a month. I have a ring. I got it from Tanzania, but most of the time I will never like silver. Isn't it? It's just it. I'm more like uh, this kind of. It's just it. They can go. Like mm -hmm. green, basically. Animal. Like there are no flavors. Yeah, and I like that. So I feel like sometimes my problem with Lagos fine dining is they will not put salt and pepper because they are trying to be like me. Mm -hmm. Like they don't cook for their. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your finger is too, too small. Have a big finger. Guys, the mains were so tasty. Like the setter was good, but the mains now nah, so good. 
I'm so loving this my tattoo. I had to put like the ointment thing on it because it's still healing. Anyways, guys, the food was so good. It is, guys. It's actually, I feel like I would come here for the food. They had amazing food. Amazing food. Everywhere has been a hit. I mean, they cook with spice. And it's like, it's not maggi, it's like it's flu, but like, like know, herbs and spices. Yes, like, yes. nah, the food was. It was good. So you know how you know how this thing in Lagos where people look for chefs from like cooking. You know? If you find a chef from Kigali, I feel like you will be good. You heard it here first. I know if if you didn't hear it anywhere else, but yeah, it was so so good. And now I'm about to have like one more, I think one cocktail and dessert before we call it a day here. Well, not a day, but before we leave this place. Yeah, good food is good mood. Thank you. So we got one on top of dessert and I got another cocktail. So yeah, this is our last last days of ordering for the night. Thanks for having us. Had a great time, great time. What what's plate number? Did you check it? Hi guys, so we're currently at the airport. It's 10 a.m. Um, Sunday morning and we're all checked in. I think I mentioned that this flight got moved from um, 9.10 and it got moved to 9, uh, 12.10. So now we're going to land in Lagos like 3 p.m. Yeah, 3 p.m. Lagos time, Nigerian time, hopefully. Um, it doesn't get delayed any further. Yeah, right now I'm just about to. I have about I think eight dollars, that's eight thousand um, Rwanda francs left, and I need to spend it because I have nothing to do with it. So I'm going to go to duty free now, see what I can buy. Probably not a lot, but yeah. And I'm not hungry, so I don't want anything from the cafe. But yeah, I just came to check in. I think I'm just going to end this vlog here i hope you enjoyed every bit of it um please let me know if you have any questions comments please drop them below thank you so so much for watching um please like share subscribe and turn on your notifications for more content like this and for more vlogs um yeah we'll give us a regular weekly vlogs but hopefully more travel content soon come thank you so much for watching bye